Should this fall over? Are we on? Are we on? We're on. Hi. We're on. We're on. We're on. Okay, right. Stop faffing around. It's um, it's time for another vlog. Um, totally unmotivated today. I've just things have just irritated me, and it's just I'm not. <laughs> it's it it's to do with you know when people like ghost you on social media and it's ridiculous so you know let's just move on from that it's turning into an unproductive day yesterday was no sales day on ebay um which means i don't have to go to the post office today so it actually it's a win-win <sighs> because who wants to go out there um but i do need the exercise but there you go but i'm gonna get exercise today because i'm, I'm on a quest um if you're new around here, um, I am an eBay reseller and I do it full time because I lost my job um, just before the first lockdown. You remember those days of yore? Um, so that's what I do. I have asthma, which hasn't been, it's been controlled most of my life, but not so much in the last two to three years. And that's why I lost my job. Um, so that's why I need to make this work for myself because if I have a bad day, working from home is absolutely the best thing for me. So, as I said in my video yesterday, there is a £2 capped uh, listing offer for um, sales made on business accounts, uh, which will last the next month. And I also need to go through all my stock and put in a comment saying, if you're buying this in Europe, you might get a tax. On your purchase item and I need to add that as a comment on every listing I need to check some of the measurements on it because I'm a bit some of the stuff that I've used is sell similar templates I don't think was right so I need to check these things and I need to check the postage that I've actually got stated for um, airmail because I think some of it's wrong I don't use GSP because I am a control freak and I don't trust eBay enough to handle an extra element of that dispatch process. I like to do it myself. I like to just give it to Royal Mail. I don't like homies. Um, that's because I live in a flat and they just leave it wherever. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to end and sell similar all my items and check what the hell I've got in boxes and hopefully rotate some rotate stuff so that I can actually move stuff around. This is Stephen very intent looking at the camera right okay i'm gonna get on with this because i'm just i'm letting things get to me today and it's ridiculous and i've paused the television and i've got debbie mcgee looking at me in a very very weird way okay let's go let's go let's go this box is that i'm going to attack i've got my women's coats there women's sort of like smart jackets and then i've got jumpers which are overflowing which i believe they're men's and women's but i'm going to take the cardigans and put them in with the jackets because they all stack up together. Um, this is the room, which isn't looking too bad. Uh, those are where I've just taken all those boxes from. So I'm going to do these ones here. So it's just another nine, no, eight boxes in here. I did these the other day and they're only like tops and things. So I probably won't be doing them. And then if I can, I'll get on to sort of like bric-a-brac. But yeah, that's that's all I'm doing. And yeah, I think it's it's not looking so bad in here. And I've hoovered the carpet, even though it probably doesn't look like it. And part of the reason that I'm doing this is because that's the stuff I've got to list. But I've piled it all up there and frankly, I need to put that away. So I don't want to get confused. So I'm going to start organisation now. Hi again everybody, uh, it is a Thursday the 28th today, um, not going to be an in-depth um, video, um, I'm not really feeling it at the minute but I'm just, what I'm doing at the moment as you can see is, this is my jeans and shorts, well those are the trousers and jeans and then that's my skirts and the rest of it. I'm still in the middle of doing um, a stock take and ending and selling similar relisting fast while this final fee valuation for business sellers is on 
which you know it I should just be doing it with the stuff that's over 20 pounds but I need to do a stock take so I'm just doing it at the same time um, a few people have said that it doesn't work if you do sell similar and it won't count and they're wrong because I was very very annoyed because I'd seen various people on Facebook and Instagram had said this and I just thought, oh god and I yesterday sold two jackets which had literally ended in sold similar the, that morning and they both counted because I checked the, the um, item numbers so they both counted um, and I've got stuff here as well which has counted um, I'm just doing the post and it, it is it's gone to uh, it's quite late I've been doing this all morning I'm just feeling a little bit tetchy I suppose I feel like there's a lot of people on social media who are being complete arses at the minute <laughs> and I've called a few of them out and I probably should probably keep my mouth shut but I don't know I just I don't like people who throw around the fact that they're mental health advocates and then do stuff which is really detrimental and just says a lot about them rather than the person who they're getting at and people have got at me as well and I've let it get to me and it was my it was my brother's birthday yesterday as the 27th and I was thinking of doing a, a video about him but I didn't um and I don't know it's probably just a lot of things but I'm still working and I'm just keeping my head down and this is a worthwhile it's a worthwhile job to do because having looked at a lot of the stuff and a lot of my bric-a-brac as well and some of that I haven't it needs a listing refresh because it was a lot of it was last time it was refreshed was the was in August and September so it's well overdue and it's I need to do these things for sanity so that I know that I haven't like got stuff listed that's already been sold and random stuff so just plugging on with it so I'm still alive and I'm still getting on with it and I would suggest you know maybe other people just throw themselves into their work if people are irritating them because it's not it, I, I don't know I know everybody's in a foul mood but my god so the things I've sold today I've sold seven things yesterday which I probably should have shown you I had um I had some Easter cake cases that went yesterday so people are already thinking about Easter uh, this um, was one of the things that I've ended and relisted. This is a mint velvet. Uh, it's got really nice things on the shoulder. And it's got a bit of cashmere in it. A tunic top. Cool pockets. Should have kept it for myself. <laughs> um, £20 for that. This I've just sold. Um, it's only warehouse. And I've somebody's just sent me an offer for £15 pounds 50 and then I just thought do you know take it otherwise I've got a massive chunky jumper which is going to be in the way so I've let that go now obviously 15 pound the fact that I've ended and relisted it it makes no odds whether it's going to be part of this two pound offer because it the fee should be less than that anyway uh, this is I've just relisted this this morning I've had this for quite a while I don't want to undo it because I haven't yet put it in sod it let's do it um it's Ted Baker and I I don't know it's more of like a stag holiday thing so if somebody wants to have that now 15 pounds for that and I pick that off too and then I don't know why I've just taken this out because I've taken me ages to pack this up this morning so that is just a Levi's denim jacket. Um, that was another one of the things that I ended in relisted yesterday. Yes, I've done quite well with that actually. Um, £28 for that and I paid three. Um, yeah, and some decent things yesterday. Got rid of some coats. Um, I probably have quite heavily discounted things because it's part of the sick of the sight of this sale. And my boxes are bursting open so um let things go i've also sold some lego um oh you see that was a good thing i keep bidding on trying well bidding on things and not winning them job lots of lego because obviously everybody is online trying to get stock 
Um, but you see, I know where my skill set lies and I know my vintage Lego. Um, so I do like to have a job lot of that. So I've got various job lots coming. Well, they've probably already tried to deliver them, but the post, but I think our intercom's broken. Um, but I did win, I win, win. I've paid 75 quid for it. The set that is in there is worth a hundred and it's got other stuff in it. And I can see that one of them is the Pirate Forbidden Island and something else, which is a Pharaoh's thing. Um, so I know that I'm onto a winner with that. Well, let's hope I am. I mean, it, it only had one picture and it was badly listed. <laughs> and I got some something else, which somebody had put techno Lego instead of Technics. So um, I got that one. Nobody found that one. Um, but then other stuff I've been bidding. There's something that I bid the other day and I, I'd looked at the stuff in there and yeah, maybe some of it would have been worth about the £200 mark. But you have to think, you have to put time and effort in. I have to wash it. I have to sort it. People, if you're selling a set, they want it to be perfect. They don't want fractures on the Lego. Um, especially if you're selling it to the old Italians. Um, they're quite pedantic about it, but they'll pay top dollar. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I thought, right, well, I'm going to go in at £105. And then somebody put 165 those two bidders who are at the 160 pound region took it right up to there so i mean it's it is um it's quite competitive at the moment but i mean i don't need that much lego i think i've got enough at the moment once i've like worked out whether the delivery mind you, mind you if it's hermes um there uh, it's two o'clock so they'll be here at 9 10 p.m tonight that's usually the time that they come <sighs> Oh, yeah, that, well, that's my review of Hermes. Yeah, how I go. <laughs> I just don't, I don't like my doorbell going at midnight because somebody's delivering something. I just, it, it unsettles me. It really does. I mean, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's not the way to run a business. Um, and running a big business like that without having a depot in Manchester is why they don't really do very well up here but there we go right um yeah getting on with it i'll probably show you what i've done tomorrow but i've got i need to just put my head into what i'm doing um i mean i've i've listed a lot hell i'll show you right so in terms of these boxes i have ended and relisted that than that so that's both the lots of shirts i've done that which is men's coats i've done that which is men's trousers uh, and this which is women's coats that is women's jackets and it's also got some jumpers on it and i've done jumpers so i've got in there skirts and trousers which i've nearly finished female and then i've got this horrendous pile of stuff which is all the dresses which i really need to i really need to pull these out i just because it's coming up with item specifics are required on those and then these bits i only did these in the beginning of january so i know the postage is right on them so i'm not touching them but then obviously i've got like i've got lots of like bric-a-bracky type things that i need to look at so I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll have nine boxes done by the end of the day. I don't think I'm going to do those dresses, but I know that I, I mean, nobody's really buying dresses, but I do need to tackle those boxes because it does say required item specifics need to be added on them, which is just aggro because I know it's just character or stupid things and they're constantly tweaking it. There's a lot of the stuff that I've done and the listings that I've gone through and checked, there's like item specifics which are at the bottom, which look like things that I've added, which are obsolete, now obsolete, and then new things have replaced them. You know, instead of just editing the field, it has to be added as a new thing. So, you know, this is the reason that I do that ending and just checking through everything, because there's so much tweaking always going on 
it, it, it's a good exercise and it refreshes the shop so that's what I'm doing and um it's verbal diarrhea on here so I'm not gonna carry on and I have cleaned in here I did stop for a clean uh, although it probably doesn't look like it because of all the rubble that's in the background but it's just because of where I put the camera but never mind you know <laughs> I'm not <laughs> I'm not a prissy you youtuber I'm just down on everybody at the minute I just <laughs> I think that everybody just needs to like take a chill pill we're all on lockdown there's no need to be an arsehole to everybody but there's so much of it about at the moment um you know it's coming up to the anniversary of um Caroline Flack's death so just think have a little think it's been less than a year you know and what a fun year it's been right i'm gonna go now crack on with this need to go to the post office it's late and um you don't need to hear any more of my garbage thanks for watching